We are here with Stephen Munitones, founder of the World Open Water Swimming Association, or WOWZA, also a marathon swimming historian. We are just days away from the Tokyo Olympic Games, so we're profiling the 25 men and 25 women competing in the Olympic 10K marathon swim in Adaiba Marine Park. Stephen, today we're talking about American Ashley Twitchell. What can you tell us about Ashley? Yes, Ashley is a, a veteran, a true veteran. She's traveled the world. Uh, she made a splash in 2011, where she literally had uh, only a handful of open water experiences, but she found herself in a uh, three-way sprint uh, in the 5K World Championships in Shanghai. So here she is, grew up on the East Coast, went to Duke University, um, got into open water swimming, qualified for the U.S. team, and all of a sudden she's in very warm water very flat water with a dead on sprint with three uh, competitors, um, two would go on to the Olympics. Um, and as she reached up, she just barely uh, missed out for gold and she got a bronze in her very first international competition. So warm water, flat water for Ashley Twitchell is a good friend. Um, since that 2011 World Championship, she's traveled all over the place, Mexico, um, uh, South Africa, Asia, all over, all over the place, uh, Europe. Um, she's trained with the best um, all over the United States. She trained with Chloe Sutton, another uh, multiple Olympian. Um, she grew up racing um, Ashley Twitch. I'm sorry, Ashley. Ashley grew up racing Haley Anderson, her American teammate, who's also uh, in the event. Um, Ashley has uh, got seventh at the Olympic uh, qualifier. That was seventh in the 10K race in the 2019 World Championships. She knows all of the women. Uh, she's traveled down to Brazil, uh, race Pollyanna Okimoto, who got third in uh, the Rio Olympics, um, went head to head with Ana Marcela Cunha of Brazil. Uh, she's gone head to head with uh, Zing Zing of China. Obviously, her and Haley have had a decade of constant racing against each other in the 5K and the 25, uh, 5K and 10K. Um, it's always a close battle between those two, just on domestic side, it's a toss up. And um, Ashley's ready to go. She's again, she's 31. This will be her last Olympics. Um, uh, she's married, um, comes from a family of four, uh, all swimmers. And um, just swimming is in her blood. And she's really taken um, to heart this open water swimming nomadic lifestyle where she's traveled the world. Great, Stephen. Tell us a little bit about the rivalry with Haley Anderson, because I know that's longstanding and it's fortuitous that they're both the, the two Americans in the race. How, how do they, what's their racing style and personality differences and uh, how, how are they going to stack up against each other in Tokyo? Okay, if it were just these two uh, and nobody else in the race, um, out of a race of... Uh, a series of 10 races, I think both of them would win five. Um, Ashley is the, um, I would say the, the more pure uh, long distance swimmer, truly long distance. Uh, if you look at her workouts, they're grueling, they're long. And if you look at Haley Anderson, um, and they've known each other since they were young age group swimmers, uh, um, competing uh, high school, obviously Ashley was on the West Coast, um, I'm sorry, Ashley was on the East Coast, Haley was on the West Coast, but at national championships in college and beyond, they've always gone head to head. Haley is more of the sprinter. Um, I say that in relative terms. Uh, Haley did win at NCAA championships in the 500 uh, yard freestyle for her alma mater, USC. Whereas in Duke, um, uh, Ashley really blossomed uh, as a postgraduate. Uh, certainly in terms of on the international scale um, and in the open water swimming world. You know, Ashley is, I believe, the only, um, yes, I believe she is the only open water um, finalist who's also medaled 
as a pool swimmer in a world championship. So Ashley medaled in the 800 free a few uh, world championships ago. If you look at their times, um, Ashley does a 201, 200 free, 407, uh, 400 um, free, 825, 800. They're all comparable to Ashley and it's a toss up. Um, Both women obviously want to win gold. Uh, both women want to get back on the podium. I, I see back. Haiti was a silver medalist in 2012. You know, 2012, that's nine years ago. Um, Ashley's never been to the Olympics. This is her first Olympics, which might be an advantage. Um, Haley actually went to the London Olympics, a, an unbelievable and grandiose Olympics. Uh, she was swimming in the shadows of Buckingham Palace in, in the Serpentine, um, you know, Tens of thousands of people watched her race. Uh, she just missed gold, uh, losing to uh, Eva Ristoff of Hungary by, I think, uh, four tenths of a second. So as she understands a, quote, normal Olympics, where there's fanfare, spectators, music, exhibitions, um, international camaraderie, um, Ashley doesn't have that experience. So Ashley is going into this very peculiar Olympics in a lockdown situation where there's constant threat of, of close contact, quarantining, uh, limited uh, movement within the Olympic Village and extremely limited movement to the venue and no movement outside of your own venue and Olympic Village. So this for uh, Haley is a very different Olympics. This for Ashley is her first Olympics and the first Olympics is always a special experience. Great. So, Stephen, given the rivalry, given what you know about Ashley, what's your final prediction? I think Ashley has an outside shot at a medal uh, if she if she swims her perfect race, and her perfect race would be if the pace is tremendously fast from the start. Um, those top ten women, um, in order for Ashley, I I believe to get on the podium. It has to be a punishing pace. A punishing pace is to Ashley's advantage. I mean, really punishing. Where at, at 3K, your heart is beating, your, your, your arms are full of lactate, your legs are, are really just going, how, how in the world am I going to do 7K more? If that's the pace, if that kind of punishing pace in the heat, in the humidity, in the flat water conditions of Tokyo, Ashley has an excellent shot. That's the kind of grueling training that she's been doing um, over in, in North Carolina where she trains. I mean, uh, it, the worse it can be, the better it is for Ashley. I think all things being equal, um, it may not be a punishing pace right from the get-go. So I, I think she's a uh, comfortable top five finish. All right. Thank you so much, Stephen. will be fun to watch. Take care. Thank you.